Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a scratch essay, so go ahead and follow along. And so we're going to start, and today I will be doing a scratch essay with a six well culture treated well plate. And so before you start, make sure everything is sterilized and everything is good to go. I've already done that. And so the first step is to create a dilution in your normal media, whatever you would normally put your cells in. And so for this six well plate, I will be doing a dilution of 175,000 cells per milliliter. And for a six well plate, you will um, plate two mils of media per well. For whatever cell line you're using, you can cater it to whatever you need to be doing, but just make sure there's the same amount of cells in each well. So as I previously said, for this um, assay, I'll be doing two mils of media in each well. So you can go ahead and pipette it up and into the plate. And make sure for every well, you use a new pipette every time to minimize contamination. So now that I have done this, make sure that you leave the lid on the well plate um, as often as you can just to minimize contamination coming from the air and outside sources. And so now that you have these in here, these are adherent cells, so I'm going to stick them in the incubator and let them adhere overnight. So now it is the next day, so we're going to get our cells out of the incubator and look at them to make sure everything looks good. So as you can see, the cells look fine, they're still alive, they're not dead, and so now we can continue with our scratch assay. So now we're gonna go ahead and aspirate off this media and replace it with fresh, low serum media. So for these cells, I will be using 1% serum, but for your cells, you'll need to use whatever it's recommended. Yeah. So when you aspirate it, just be sure, if your cells are adherent, not to touch the bottom of the well because you could suck some of the cells off the bottom, which is not what you want. Also, you should use a new tip for every well that you're gonna aspirate to minimize contamination. So now that you've aspirated off all the normal serum media, we're going to go ahead and replace it with low serum media. So the reason we use low serum media is because in a scratch assay you're trying to measure cell migration. But with normal levels of serum in your media, you could also run into the problem of measuring cell proliferation. So when you take out the serum, you eliminate that variable so you can for sure only measure cell migration. Also, if you're using any drug treatments, it will need to be used in low serum media so that way you can let it sit overnight or for however long you need. So for this part, you need to be very careful because if you put the media back on the plate too fast, it could disturb your cells and then ruin their scratch assay. So just be sure, once again, don't touch the bottom of the well and go very slowly. It may help to dispense the media onto the side of the well. So now that I've replaced the normal serum with low serum media, if you're using a drug treatment, you can incubate it for however long you need, or if you're just going to move on to your scratch assay, you can do that too. So now we're going to make the scratch for the scratch assays, and so for this, um, you'll, you should be using a 200 microliter pipette tip, and it helps if you put it on the end of a pipette and hold it as a pencil to scratch your plates. So for this, when you're making your scratches, you want to be as sterile as possible and then make sure not to accidentally dip your finger in a well and start at the top of the well and just go all the way down. Now that you've scratched your plates, you can go ahead and look under the microscope and it should look similar to this. Basically, you want clean borders on the edge and you want a strip with no cells down the middle. Now that you scratch your plates, you need to go ahead and take pictures so this can act as your time zero so you'll have a baseline to control your cell migration to. So now that you've taken your zero hour pictures, go ahead and incubate them for 24 hours. So it's now the next day, so we're going to go ahead and take our 24 hour pictures for our scratch assay. <laughs> So 
So once again, go ahead and take pictures at 24 hours for your cells. So you'll notice that the cells have started to migrate back onto the scratch. Depending on what you're using or what treatments, it, every picture should look different. So it's now the next day and we're going to go ahead and take our 48 hour pictures. So now for your 48 hour pictures, you can see that the cells have most likely moved all the way back over the scratch and now they're covering the plate again. So if you want to take quantitative data as well as qualitative data, you can go ahead and use a microscope to measure the gaps, but that's completely up to you. So now if you want to take more time period pictures, you can, or if you're done, go ahead and clean up and that's your scratch assay.